Hey everyone, I'm going to show you guys a quick way to read GeoJSON data using the GeoPandas library in Python. So first I'll just show you uh, what data I'm using and how I got it. So this is uh, 2015 street tree census data from New York City Open Data. And on this website you can just go over here to export and then GeoJSON and it takes about five or six minutes to download the data. So coming back over here, uh, first we just import GeoPandas. And next, I'll start running this and start talking about what it's doing. So this is the default uh, way to read a file using GeoPandas. And I ran this once, and it took around six minutes. And the GeoJSON file itself is around 600 megabytes. So now I'm going to stop this, actually. And once it stops, we should see like a kernel interrupt error message, or sorry, keyboard, keyboard interrupt message. Um, cool, so I'm just going to clear this out. And now we're reading in the same data. It's just uh, has a different name because I've already run this before and I've saved it already as a parquet file. But now we can see this should take less than a minute. Yep, there you go. Now that this number appears, we know that the data has been ingested. And um, yeah, just a minor note here that you do need to install PyArrow for this to work. Um, and so the way that I originally wrote this data was I read it in with read file first. And then I saved it to a Parquet file using 2Parquet. I think it uses snappy compression by default. Uh, and yeah, it's already ran this before, but um, if you just like want to see what the data looks like, you can use the head uh, function from pandas. And then also just to show that this is geospatial data, you can see that using the geometry column, um, that these are points and yeah, I think there's not too much more there. So I did just want to show you um, some details in case you are considering using this. So if you go to the GeoPandas documentation, it states that 2 Parquet is not reliable for production because um, they're still using an early version of GeoParquet and they're doing lots of updates and those could potentially introduce breaking changes. So I guess just be careful if you want to use this for production, but it should be good for your local setup and anything like that. And also the way that it actually um, serializes the geometry objects from GeoPandas um, into a file format is it uses the WKB uh, encoding, which is the well-known bi binary format, which is specifically for serializing uh, geometry data into series of bytes. And I guess like one limitation of WKB is that it only supports simple geometries like points, lines, and polygons. And just like if you're reading about this, you might see WKT as well, and apparently what that stands for is well-known text. Oh, and also, like, I've been talking about this this whole time as if people know what Parquet is, but in case you don't know what Parquet is, um, it's a columnar oriented file format, and basically what that means is that, like, instead of storing rows of data, like this entire row here, for example, as, like, one unit of data, you store the columns as the units of data, and this allows you to do compression because any, like, values that are the same in a given column can be compressed and yeah, so it basically just makes things uh, a lot faster to read and write.